Hello, this is day 12. You are so very welcome. Patron of the Unborn Here is a mother's testimony to the faithfulness of St. Joseph towards those who call on him for all their needs. Dated March 19th Dear brothers, Today, March 19th, Feast of St. Joseph, I am happy to tell you that this great saint has answered my prayers once again. I had been praying since the first of this month and every day he gave me help and courage to accept the painful situation in which I am living. Then, yesterday, while I was praying to St. Joseph with complete trust, my parents came to visit me. They had not spoken to me for weeks, not since the day I told them that I was pregnant. The little child I have been carrying for the last three months was for them an inconvenience, as also for my husband and the rest of my family. The child was not welcome. Silently, I asked St. Joseph to help me bear this suffering, this hostility, and begged that he would soften the hearts of those near and dear to me. Last night, on the eve of St. Joseph's feast, my parents appeared at my house and asked if they could stay for dinner. I was happy to greet them and made them fully welcome. At the end of the meal, as they were leaving, they invited me and my husband to spend Sunday with them so that we could visit with all the family and added how much they would be pleased to have us. I could read in their eyes their regret and shame at having wished the death of my child. Threatened by so many close relatives who wanted it to be aborted. I believed then that St. Joseph had touched their hearts and I was deeply moved. So many times Jesus' foster father, who is ours too, had been lavish with his graces. He always sustained me in my most difficult times, in my daily work as well as in my private life. Knowing how much you love and honour St Joseph as your patron, I wanted you to know about this special grace given to me. I had confided to you my family problems and my difficult situation. I owe you, to all of you, this grace. And now I am waiting for the greatest of saints, after Mary, to bring back to God all those sinners who despair because they have no faith. That is the grace that I wish for my dear ones, so that their souls and hearts may be in peace and harmony with God, the Father Almighty, in union with the Holy Spirit for all eternity. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us, God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us, God the Son, the Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us, God the Holy Spirit. Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Ora pro nobis, ora pro nobis. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of the patriarchs, pray Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Zealous Defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Ora pro nobis, ora pro nobis. Most just pray for us, 
Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most courageous, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Ora pro nobis, ora pro nobis. Near of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of workmen, pray for us. Glory of domestic life, pray Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the whole. God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. O oh, blessed Saint Joseph, protector of Jesus, you were so brave in troubled times. We ask thee now, not just to please us, protect again, that his glory shine. Protector of the unborn, guardian of innocence, be their defender now we pray in their mother's wombs cradled with love let them see the light of day through thy care and guidance instill in the hearts of their mothers god's holy will that all unborn babies deserve a chance at life despite all their pains their suffering or strife protector of the unborn guardian of innocence be their defender now we pray in their mother's wombs cradled with love let them see the light of day. O oh, good Saint Joseph, with thy strong arms surround them, shield them from harm, and grant them the joy that by their baptism our God may claim them. Everyone, every girl and boy, Protector of the unborn, guardian of innocence, be their defender. Now we pray in their mother's wounds, cradled with love. Let them see the light of day. 
Protector of the unborn, guardian of innocence, be their defender. Now we pray in their mother's wombs, cradled with love. Let them see the light of day. Let them see the light of day. Jesus called a little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like a little child, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck and to be thrown into the depths of the sea. Woe to the world because of the things that cause people to stumble. Such things must come, but woe to the person through whom they come. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. O oh, blessed Saint Joseph, protector of Jesus, you are so brave in troubled times. We ask thee now, not just to please us, protect again, let his glory shine. Protector of the unborn, guardian of innocence, be their defender. Now we pray in their mother's wombs, cradled with love, let them see the light of day. In honour of St. Joseph, today we pray for the protection of all unborn children and for all those who work in the pro-life movement. We also have great confidence in the paternal goodness of St. Joseph and we really entrust all of our cares to him.